And let's look at what happened last week. A very mm. interesting what? indeed. Jimmy! In oh, I forgot I Johnson! Jimmy! Johnson! You lucked out with the Juwan Johnson, Dave. Plus I did, one point I totally for forgot. plus one point for Andrew Come and Ralph for predicting Saints to win. Uh, plus two points for Dave Whoa. for Juwan Johnson fantasy contribution. Jimmy Come one on. point, Lynn Bowden zero points for Kevin and minus two points. Unfortunately, five point four points for AT Perry. That's minus two points uh, for Ralph. Mm, Sorry about close, that. Man. Mm. So Andrew's Let's one away from Kevin now. Check this out. Check this 20 out. 19 Andrew. points, I believe. Let's go, yeah. Kevin. I'm it's coming for you, close. baby. It's going to come down to the wire, guys. Mm, I've got 13. Ralph is pretty much out of it. Yeah, points. I'm pretty much out of it. So I'll go first. The Saints, by the way, the Rams are a four point favorite. Four and a um, half, right? Man, it went down to four. So let me, let me down check. To four. Let me, okay. Let me right. check. Let me Keep check. Up. Let me check. So, so the Vegas is pounding the Saints so far. A little bit. Let's let's take a look and see. The action is on the Saints. No, it's still it was four. It was four. It's back to four and a half. So it's still four and a half. Okay. Four and a half. Um, here's the thing with this game. Um, and Andrew has said it earlier in the in the show. The Rams, they're seven and seven, but they're seven and seven is not the Saints seven and seven. Like they are. They have this is the best quarterback the Saints are going to play all year, Matthew Stafford. I believe better. They than also Trevor. lost some games when Stafford was out, right? With just injury. one, just one. He just okay. missed one week. Yeah, yeah. Um. So they are seven. That and was their worst game of the year, though. Yeah, they got they got crushed in, in Green Bay. Um. But since then, they've won four or five. They their defense isn't great. They play a bunch of kids. Their defense is middling. Their offense is top like tenth in points. Um. Here's the thing with this game, though. If the Saints can get this game, I believe the momentum is going to carry them and they're going to win the South. I think if they win, if they win Thursday, they'll probably beat Tampa the next week and they'll wrap up the South. And like we won't even have to worry about Atlanta. We can just laugh at them as the Saints are playing Jameis and a bunch of backups. And the Saints are focused on the playoffs and Atlanta's focused on extending Arthur Smith deep into the next decade. Um, so listen, I, I think the Saints are going to win this game. It's going to take a little bit of shenanigans because the Rams are better. But I think the Saints are going to find the Saints are going to find a way and they're going to get this game. Either the Saints are winning this game. Momentum's going to carry them to the chi- to, a, to a division title or they're going to lose in like heartbreaking fashion and the season will be over. They'll finish seven to ten and maybe they'll fire D out of a cannon. But I believe the Saints they're playing well. They're gonna win. They're gonna the Saints are gonna play so well. Al Davis, Andrew, he's gonna be awake in the second half of this game <laughs> on Amazon Prime. That's how Jeez. well this that's how what well do you mean this, a, what, you mean Al Michaels. I mean Al Michaels is gonna be <laughs> awake. Like, what the hell? I, I mean Al Davis being awake. awake. <laughs> that's that's like, like, the tough, that's rising the tough. from got, the dead. You got cattle prods, Ralph? <laughs> Did I say Al Davis? You got cattle prods. <laughs> wow, I meant Al. I meant. Did I, say, uh, I, I didn't. Like, wait a minute. What? What? Al Davis? <laughs> We're gonna preview that bitch, and I'm gonna be drunk as fuck. Accurate. <laughs> Accurate. Uh, so Saints twenty three. Oh jeez. Al Davis seventeen. No, at Saints twenty. <laughs> Saints twenty three. Rams seventeen. Thomas. I don't know who I have left to play for the Saints. Uh, Lynn I, Bowden, for example. Then that sounds like a winner. Lynn Bowden it is. <laughs> That's a good choice. That's a good Lynn choice. Bowden. All right. All right. Lynn Bowden. Can I go? Can I go? You can go, Dave. Since I'm in second to last place. Um, uh, look, I was wrong last week. I'm a man. I can admit that. Uh, I wasn't even close. Um, I, 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 I like the way the Saints looked last week. They looked good. Um, I, I'm not sure that that's uh, the real Saints, though. I think that the Saints have had the benefit of playing some incredibly, terribly team, terrible teams the last uh, few weeks. And I think the Rams are a much better team uh, than any of the teams they've had to play lately. And they've got to travel two time zones to go do it on a short week. Um uh, I, I don't think the Saints are going to win this game, but I do think it's going to be close. Um, 
And I, but I don't think this is, means the season's over, and I don't want them to lose because I want DA to be fired. I just honestly think that the Rams are a slightly better team, and I think DA is at the point in his career where, and, and, and Ralph and I discussed this before, uh, he beats worse teams, but he has trouble with better uh, teams. Is it? What? Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Do you? Do, I was gonna. I was gonna ask. When was the last time the Saints won a road Thursday night game? I don't know. Yeah, I have no idea. They definitely did it in Atlanta. I know that. You know. He did it in Carolina um, so, in 2014, too. I, I think it's going to be uh, – I, I think the defense is going to continue to play well like they have been, so I think it's going to be a low-scoring affair. I just don't think the offense is going to do enough and score enough. So I'm going with uh, – i got to look it up, actually. I'm going – well, put it up there, actually, uh, Thomas. I went with Rams 17, Saints 16. Oh, that's, that's heartbreak be, city. I know, I know. Heartbreak I think it's hotel. Tough. I think it's going to be tough. And also, I think being this close, you know, nobody's going to be coming for DA's head. Uh, uh, oh, that, that doesn't matter. They'll come for DA's kills. head no, we'll either way. Um, and for player, you know what? I, have I picked Jimmy Graham yet? Can I take Jimmy Graham? Uh, I think because he's can. Jimmy Grant, like yeah, like ver- verbal meme. Uh, yeah, uh, Zoolander, Will Ferrell, and Zoolander. Jimmy Graham is so hot right now. <laughs> so you want Jimmy Jimmy Graham? <laughs> you bet your ass, I want Jimmy Graham. Are you right kidding me? Then you waited for the right moment. Dave. I did wait for the right yeah, moment. I, did. I didn't even mean to do that, but I'm taking it. That's right. So Andrew, well, who you got? Well. I have no reason to pick the Saints to win this game. <laughs> I, th- I, I think the Rams are better. I think they have the better coach. I think you've they have the better that quarterback. House, you, you've been telling me all, the last two today they're going to crush the Saints. I, I, I think they have the better playmakers, and Cooper Cup, and that receiver whose name I can't pronounce. I'm not going to be a Ralph. Puka. Yeah. Uh, and Williams has been a nice running back for them. You know, they have Aaron Donald. I, I assume he's going to play. Um, I know he was questionable last week. It, I, I didn't see him on the injury report today, so it looks like he's going to be a go. Tutu Atwell's back, too, and a guard that I can't pronounce his name. Haberty. Yeah, so, like, short week, the Saints have to travel to the West Coast, which is going to cost them a day of practice. Um, Preparation-wise, like, everything is stacked against the Saints. Um, but... And yet I'm yes, full shenanigans. Yes, I think this is I, I, I believe in my heart. I want to believe that the most hilarious scenario. That's right. Is one where the Saints don't play that well. They get a couple weird shenanigans things. They win. It infuriates the <laughs> yes. entire DA crowd because they're like, yeah, the Saints didn't even deserve to win this game. Yes. They sucked. Like they, in my veins. They, they, yeah, they shouldn't have had they this win. It in my they, veins. They ruins our draft pick, and now DA is going to stay. And we're, oh we're, my we're, God. it's like three more years of, of torture just because of this win. Saints are outgained by like 100 yards. Yes. Yeah. And, and oh. I'm going to inject this all into my veins. Saints 24. <laughs> Rams 20, there will be no explainable reason. You will look at the stats. You will look at the turnover differential. You will look at the yards gained. You will look at who ran the ball better. You will look at every measurable stat. There will be no explanation for why the Saints won this game other than shenanigans. (laughs) I love it. Thomas, can I pick shenanigans as my fantasy player? (laughs) I mean, if you want minus two points, man. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what are my other options? Uh, I'm looking at your players, and uh, you are in a tough spot, man. I think you need to pick someone like Adam Prentice or something, man. <laughs> uh, what about Keith Kirk? Can I roll with Keith, Keith oh, Kirk? Oh, yeah. Man? I think you can. That's, yeah. that's, that's uh, Derek Carr's go. guy. That is that's, Derek that's Carr's Derek guy. Carr's, that's his guy, yeah. His workout pal. Route yeah, they the were guy. working out in California all off season together at a place. Jimmy, game, Jimmy, if you could, J- Jimmy, if you could be like Moses and part the Red Sea for Keith Kirkwood again, so he could score another touchdown, that would be great. Yeah. So you, use divine intervention if you have to. What did Kevin pick? Uh, so do I need to, do I need to call player. him? Yeah, call him, man. Call him for the play. I'm call gonna. Him. 
give his prediction in the meantime. Who do you think, guys? Kevin chose as he the winner. The Rams. I think Kevin's I'm, going the, I'm the only one that picked the Rams. So if he didn't pick, the he Rams, did live. In, he does live in St. Louis, and so he is very oh, anti. That's right. Rams. He, hate, he hates Kronk yeah. so much. I forgot about so that. I'm gonna just tell you that last week Andrew and Ralph teamed oh, up, and Dave and Kevin teamed up, and this week is. Same story. Kevin picked oh. the Rams to win. All right. Oh, he picked the so, Rams. Kevin, Ooh. it was just revealed that you picked the Rams, yeah, 34 to 28. Uh, yeah. I want you to know that I picked the Saints to win, Ralph picked the Saints to win, and your compadre, Dave, picked the Rams to win. Now, let's go. It's a repeat of last week. It's a repeat of last week. And yeah. now, this, this part is pretty salient. Uh, you are at 20 points and still in first place, which you've been at for a while. But you're at 19. But I'm at 19. I'm knocking on the door. He's, he's in the chat room. Yeah. He's seen everything up to this point. Okay. All right. So we, we need your player of the game. <laughs> okay. Let's see. Dave picked Jimmy Graham. You got Keith Kirkwood and Ralph has uh, Lynn Bowden. Is... Uh, mm, that's an obvious pick for you, Is Kevin. Is Blake Groupie still available for me? Can he, can he take Blake Groupie? Hmm. Uh, Tom. Damn, he can. Damn, yes. I'm oh, sure. You can take right. Blake. Right. I'm right, sure. for Blake Groupie. Okay, well, 28's a little weird because it looks like, you know, four touchdowns oh. and no field goals, but... That's a oh, pretty good I, pick, actually. You know. Yeah, it's, it's a good pick. It's a good pick. All right, Blake Groupie, Groupie it, is. it is. Thanks, buddy. Nice. That's actually why I picked 16 points, because that's one touchdown and three field goals. <laughs> I was like, wow. they're going to kick a lot of field goals. Thanks for watching the Saints Happy Hour. Subscribe to our YouTube channel, then find us wherever you get your podcast, and finally go to saintshappyhour.com and become a patron of the best Saints podcast on earth.